I'll be honest, Squarespace not too long ago wasn't great for e-commerce. It was missing a lot of core functionality and Shopify was the clear winner. But recently, they're really pushing the commerce functionality of the websites. And with that has come a lot more customers to Squarespace who want ease of use for their commerce site because realistically, Squarespace's biggest benefit is that it's a lot more intuitive to use than Shopify. So with that said, if you're getting into Squarespace or if you're looking to get into Squarespace for that commerce functionality, then this is how you can quickly set up your store. So let's head into website. And then in there, we're gonna add our store. So if we click plus to add it to the main navigation, we go to store here, and then we're gonna pick a layout for our store. Not sure why this isn't loading up, but we'll go with this one. And then we'll give our store a name. So we'll just call it Sam's store. And there we go. We've got the main page set up. Then it's gonna populate with a few examples as we can see here. And then we can go into here and we can have a little look at our products. So when we click into one for the first time, we get a layout option. I'm gonna go with this one. And if we just blow the screen up a little bit, you can see how that's set up. So it's gonna give you a template. You can go in and you can edit that template. So if you go into edit and design, edit section, you can actually change all of this. But that's for another video. I'm just teaching you how to set up the, the store. So go back and then what we wanna do is just add whatever products we have. So click add and then you can choose, okay, is it a physical service, download, gift card, etc. For ease, I'm just gonna show physical. So click physical, we're gonna plug in all our details here, hit publish, and there we have our new product. Now in terms of getting the store itself set up, we just wanna click on keep going and Squarespace is gonna guide us through it. Once we've added the products, we then need to get obviously a way to get paid so we click on this and then here you connect all your payment processes. Let's say, you know, you're in the US, we'll go with USD, hit save, and then we navigate back using the breadcrumbs to payments. Here, you literally just need to click on connect. It's gonna take you to Stripe, plug in your login and that will be connected up. If you don't have a Stripe account or PayPal account, then it's free to start. So obviously you just pay processor fees. Basically, you just need one on file. If you're in the US, you can also connect Square for your point of sale. Again, you just literally click connect and that will take you to the setup wizard. Super easy. And then we go back. So once we've set up the payments, we'll go to fulfillment. And here we add our shipping options. So if you're an Etsy seller, you can import from Etsy. So you click on this, then you log in and import. Or we can add shipping options manually. So once I click on here, I'm presented with five options. So flat rate. This means you charge the same shipping for every product in the store, dependent on weight, so you can set the weight of each item. And then obviously, if someone orders multiple items, the weight will go up and then as will the shipping fee. Then you can connect FedEx or you can connect uh, UPS or USPS. So let's just say I click on this. You can then configure the rates. So let's say we use Priority Mail. You maybe you want to put a markup on and then where you're shipping from. Hit save and that will create the formula. Same goes for UPS. Same goes for FedEx. You just select the services, markup, zip code. And then if we just skip over here, you can do custom containers as well. So you click on custom containers, give it a name, add the dimensions, hit save. Now, if we just go for flat rate on this one, we can give it a name. I'll just call it fulfillment. And then we can add a pair order fee. So this is just the minimum shipping fee. Let's just say $20. And then if an additional item is added, then we add something if you want. So you can keep it at zero, or let's say we add $5. Then where we ship to, so I'm gonna say United Kingdom, then you can edit within the United Kingdom. So edit, and then you can say, mm, maybe I'm not gonna to ship to Northern Ireland and Wales, for instance. Same goes for the US, so you can select this is more important for the US, I guess, than the UK, but you can select what state you do and you don't ship to. As for other countries, you can just select like so, hit save, and once you save a shipping option, you'll be able to see it here. You can do pickup options as well, so set pickup, add an option, give it a name, hit store. Pop in all the details here, then you can add any optional information if you wish. So you can set up your taxation address and tax setup, so if I click on this, It'll take us to the tax panel and then you can specify, okay, is this included in the price? Or you can add it at checkout. And if you want to manually set up your taxes, hit add rate. And let's say, okay, yeah, we're shipping to uh, the UK. So United Kingdom, next. What the tax is. So it's going to automatically fill it in for you. 
if you want to call it something else, you can. So let's just call it tax. <laughs> Country rate, you set that. And then you can specify whether you want to charge taxes on services and digital products and on shipping or not. So hit save. You've got tax and then you can do the same for all the other countries. So I think we had United States as well. And then you have to do it state by state. So next and then same again, rinse and repeat. So that's payments and fulfillment done. Now you've got to subscribe. So I'll show this in USD just because most people that watch these videos are in the US. Now you're going to need at least a business plan. So commerce kind of throws you off a bit. You think, okay, actually I need a commerce plan. But if we go down to here, fully integrated e-commerce does come with a business plan. Now, it all depends on the transaction fee that you're looking to pay. So with a commerce plan for only like $3 extra, you know, you, you get 0%. So I would say if you're planning on selling a lot, just go with this because that's going to pay for itself in a month. But, you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to save just over $3, then stick with business. It's also worth noting if you were to go with business, you wouldn't get a point of sale check out on your door, but well, you wouldn't get any of this. You can read it. I'm not going to read it out to you. But anyway, you select your plan. So let's just say I go with basic commerce, plug in your details, save and continue, and then it's done. And then the only thing left to do is hit publish. So publish the store and you're good to go. Now, in terms of the design of the store, if I go into edit, this allows me to edit the storefront. Now, I'm not a fan of all of this. So what I usually do is I just get rid of it. And then I go to edit section and I'll usually stick sidebar on so whenever i have categories of product it goes all the way down here and it just looks a bit better you can play around with the actual setup so just to take you through we've got the width which doesn't really do much the column spacing so this is going to change the thumbnails row spacing obviously the same how many columns you actually have the aspect ratio of the thumbnail so you can change it dependent on how your imagery is uh, is set up Text alignment, so that's just the titles, like this. Text spacing, so that's just the spacing between the bottom of the image and the title. Add to cart button, just if you want people to be able to, you know, quickly add things into the cart, then you can do that. Price, if you want to show or hide it, I would just show it, to be honest. Then we've got category title, so you can turn that on and off, that's just here. Header alignment, there you go, you can see Sam store. Then we've got breadcrumbs just to show users where they've come from and how to navigate back quickly. So once you're happy, hit save, hit exit, and then we've got our store set up. So we've got the storefront, we've got it set up exactly how we want. Then we've got our products, and I will have a separate video on how to actually add products and actually customize this page in depth. But this is the basic gist. So we've got the storefront, we've got the products. We've set up taxes, we've set up shipping, we've took out a subscription and we've published the store. Hopefully this has been a quick and efficient tutorial for you to get your store online quickly with Squarespace. If it has and you found it useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.